recording these small little videos so that you can repeat whatever we are doing in class. So, so today we are doing internet. Pre we, today we are doing GPO preferences. The main purpose of GPO preferences is that whatever we see in a control panel of a computer. So, uh, where is the control panel of a computer? So, if I go to start here, if I go to start here, and if I just go onto a control panel. So, just go to control panel, everyone. So, just go to start and go to control panel. So, this is control panel where it says control panel. As soon as you go there, guys, here it shows you the control panel of a computer, which shows you many different settings for many different things here. Now, the easier way to look at this, this is that you can change the category from this to small icon. This gives you a better view. Now, this can give you the same set of icons, but if you change it to small icons, so if you go to category and change it to small icons, small icons give you everything individually. So here, if you ever need to change display settings, display settings are here. So what type of display settings do you need? For example, you go back and then it want, you, you want to change mouse settings, that how should mouse pointer looks like, uh, which should be right button or left button. This is your pointer. Do you need this pointer? So for now, this is the mouse pointer. So basically, in a control panel of a server or a computer, it has all the settings that you can change. For example, you need to change language on your computer. So language on a computer, you go here. For now, it is set to United States English. You can change. If you go to Middle East, they are using Arabic computer. If you go to China, they are using Chinese windows. If you go to uh, Montreal side, they are using French windows. So you can change complete these settings. But guys, these all settings, if I need to do these all settings individually, for example, in control panel, I need to check, I need to change language settings, or I need to change user settings, I need to change sound settings. How should sound work? Guys, I need to go to each machine and do it. So on this one, I need to change language. On this one, I need to change language. On this one, I need to change language. On others' machine, I need to change language. So if I need to do this, guys, I need to do it individually on all machines. But if you need to do it from from uh, uh, from GPO or group policy, or you need to do it once in all of the environment, guys, we use preferences. So all these settings that you see in control panel, they exist in, in preferences. Now, within preferences, the biggest advantage is, for example, if you can see, I need to change internet options. So I have internet options here. If you can see the screen, this is my internet option. Ahmed, uh, uh, can you just move this on, on this side? Thank you. So here, guys, uh, for example, I need to change this settings. Now, what is in this setting? So I'm in control panel, and I open internet options. So you're in control panel, open internet options. So once you open internet options, once you open internet options, what you can do is, uh, as soon as you open internet option, what can you set up for 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 uh, for this internet option? For example, you need to change a default web page. Whenever internet internet explorer opens, what would be your default page? Uh, other than that, uh, other than that, browse history. Do you want to delete all your history, whatever websites you went to? It can delete from here. Other than this, within internet properties. You can change security settings. Uh, if you're connected to internet, it should be high security. So it won't let viruses come from internet to your computer. Guys, these all settings exist in preferences. Now, the main advantage of a preference is, the main advantage of a preference is that you don't have to, uh, you don't have to, uh, uh, you don't have to uh, go into theory and see that which setting is for what. In preferences, it will give you exactly the same window, and you set it up, and then you create a group policy, and then you attach it to everyone. So in preferences, it will give you a window like this. But if I need to ever change internet setting on this machine, I have to go to walk to this machine and change the setting. Then I have to go to walk to this machine and change it. But if I need this setting to be changed automatically, I can go into group policy. Now I'm going to create a group policy to change internet setting on all these machines. So how do we do that? Guys, for that, let's, uh, so I'm going to close everything again one more time. So, it, yes, I'm going to do it again one more time. So guys, what I need to do is, 
what I need to do is you need to be on a domain controller because group policies can only be managed from a domain controller. You are managing group policy from a domain controller. Without Active Directory, no group policies exist in the domain. If you have a wide group environment, no group policies are there. Now, what is my main purpose of now? I need to set up some special internet settings and I need to send it to all the computers within this. Now here, all I need to do is open GPM. So in order to open a GPM, I need to open server manager, which is this place. So let's go here. And then uh, all I need to do, go to tools. You need to go to tools. And then you need to go to GPM, which is group policy management. As soon as you open GPM, guys, sometimes, and most of the times actually, this GPM screen doesn't appear here. So guys, keep an eye on this here. It, it automatically comes on to this task manager here. So if it doesn't open, it means it doesn't mean that it is not open. It's just not visible. So if you need to see it, you need to click on this. Now you're in GPM. So in GPM, just just few minutes back, I created a GPO. I'm going to delete this so that everybody can do it. Then I need to create a new GPO. So how do you create a new GPO? Right click on this and then you would say new. And within new, let's name it internet settings. So internet, internet settings. So I'm creating a new GPO called internet settings. If you already have it, then, then you can, then you can uh, have it. Uh, so here, one more time, all I need to do, once you open GPM, you need to, uh, you need to expand domain. Then you need to expand your domain. Then under this, you need to go to group policy object and then under this uh, right click on group policy object and then say new right click on group policy object then say new so Zara, are you there so where are you guys help him out so whoever is there So once you're here in internet settings, here I just created this GPO called internet settings. Now guys, this GPO without settings is nothing. So we need to create a setting. You need to right click on a GPO and then you would go to edit. And within edit, now it, it, it asks me a question. Do you want to do a computer configuration or user configuration? Now guys, this depends on where you are doing it. For example, if it is a call center, I would do it from a computer setting. So in call center, what happens on one machine, there are three different people sitting. So if you do it on a computer, who doesn't matter whoever is sitting, settings will be applied on this. So what we do is, uh, uh, so here, but, for, but first, let's do it on a user setting. So user setting means that everybody who is sitting here, this setting should apply on a user. So let's go to preferences. So number one, we need to remember, if you go to control panel settings, it has, you will see, you will see that it has all the settings. For example, it has folder options. It has user options, it has networking options, it has power options, it has printer, it has regional settings. So all the settings that you saw, most of the settings that you saw in control panel all exist here. Now in our case, we just need to open internet settings and let's go to internet setting and on this side, it is, it is just, uh, it is empty. Now here, you need to right click in this screen. You need to right click here. Once you select internet settings, you need to right click here and then say new. So now it is asking you which version of Internet Explorer do you want to create this policy for. So here, let's create it for the latest version, which is version 10. So version 10, guys, as soon as you open this, as soon as you open this, you will remember this, that this is exactly the same screen what, what we saw in real control panel. So here, let's say that uh, when this policy applies, it, the default page should be www.google.com so this will be the default page um, this will be a default page and first and secondly let's uh, let's uh, select delete browsing history 
the second setting we are saying that uh, whenever they whenever they uh, whenever the user logs in browsing history should be deleted so the browsing history is deleted their default page will be the google in in security you have high security here we'll leave it as is in privacy in privacy we're not changing anything in privacy in contact we're not changing anything in advanced in advanced let's select play sound this one this one option i mean i'm just making changes here because I, we just need to see if group policy is working or not working otherwise these all settings will be based on your security department if your what your security department needs you can disable which one no not from here not from here for that you need to have a registry setting so that is that is custom custom setting but here you can do anything that that appears on the screen i mean guys itself itself as is it's a huge big advantage because then you don't before in previous versions we had to script that you have to write script in order to disable or enable this now here it is made easy for us so that we can just select and uh, disable or enable uh, settings here and then so so guys just to just for remembering when this policy runs the the web page default web page will be this and this should be selected so for now if i go to my server 2 let's go to my server 2 as a default site yes yes you can you can also do a trusted site as well guys now before applying this policy before applying this policy i just want to see my current settings on on this uh, uh, on the second server so if i go to my second server and open control panel and within this if i go to change to small icons and then go to internet so basically now the current setting is not set to default browsing delete default default browsing uh, and then default is this this uh, uh, web page so here which means policy is not applied yet on this so i'm going to close this and i'm going to move back to this yes your question which one so start with uh, start with tab with the last uh, session i mean it's not necessary but it will use this as a default page but this is just saying that do you want to open a uh, this web page in a new tab or existing tab it's just saying this so so we're going to just use this so here uh, actually ch let's change this as well because the default setting is that so we're, we're changing start the start with home page home page so i did four settings here one was default page and then set with home page and then delete browsing history and then in advanced i just i'm just selecting play system sound so four settings now press okay with this as soon as this is done as soon as this is done now you have enabled this policy and you close this so as soon as you close this guys What, what's happening now now let's see what settings are in this gpo and how do we verify you need to go to settings you need to go to settings here and within settings let's show and it's showing you that the default policy you have is this and in general you're doing these settings in security you're doing these settings and in privacy or in advanced you're 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 just enabling play sound so this is how you how you read a policy that my policy that i just did is, is is this policy now the second thing i need to do jump back to scope tab jump back to scope tab and in this scope tab it is it is it is telling me that this policy will be applied to everyone who is authenticated number 1 but here this place is empty now if this place is empty this is not linked anywhere so you must link it so guys for our ease of access for testing what what we are going to do we are going to link it to a domain let's link it to a domain so all you need to do you need to drag this so just select it and drag it upward and drag it to over your domain one ha huh? in your case it's win.win.local so you need to drag it on this once it is it is there it is now linked now if i see now if i see this it is linked to a domain it is for all authenticated users 
And here in settings, it has this type of setting. Now, in order to see that if this can apply, there are a few methods. One method is that every 90 minutes, if we can remember, just for your remi reminder, every 90 minutes, policy revives itself. Secondly, we can run GP update on that machine and enforce the policy. And third, just re log off and log in. You can log off and log in policy. So, guys, these three things we must remember for interview purposes. So, yes, where you want to apply. For example, let's go to our second machine. So, this second machine, guys, first of all, this must be joined to a domain and you must be logged into a domain. So, for that, then it will work. So, here, before I run the policy, let's one more time check internet options. So, our internet options here, yes. Server 2, on, on server 2. On server, even if you don't have server 1, server 2, then check it on server 1. So in this guide, it is already set to start with home page. So let's change this because our policy will come automatically here and it will change it to start with home page and click apply. So my current setting says that here I have a different web page. Here it is start with a new tab last session. So our policy will change this. Our policy will change this, and our policy is going to enable this sound as well. So these are the settings that should be coming from a GPO. So now let's see this, guys. Now here, all you need to do, open a command prompt. Once you open a command prompt here, and then here I would go and say, uh, but before, before running GP update, guys, let's run GP result. Yeah, let's run GP result first. Now GP result... So GP result here, now for your, uh, for your, for, so that you can look at, look at it, I'm going to increase the font, so let's increase the font for your convenience, okay, so here, let's run GP, GP result, GP result slash, GP result slash R, so as soon as you do this guys, space, slash R. So guys here, as soon as you go here, it says under user settings, no policies are applied here. Applied groups is no policies here. So currently, internet settings are not applied yet. Internet settings are not applied yet. Guys, why am I going through this step by step? Because you should know when you create a policy and then you verify, then before running it, you need to verify and then run it. So now here, once it is not there, let's clear screen. How do you clear a screen? It is CLS. You just clear a screen. And now run GP update. So now GP update. As soon as it is updating it, let's see what happens. So it goes to... So guys, when you run GP update, what it does, it goes to a domain controller and requests, give me all the policies. So when you run GP update, it does this. Now you can run again GP result. So just run GP result again and let's see if our internet policy was here. So as you can see, it says applied group policy is internet setting. So it requested domain, it received the policy. Now if now is the time to verify. So now you go to control panel and go to Internet Explorer, Internet Options. Here it is it is it, it, it did something actually. So it did change the start home page. It did selected default browsing history and if you go to advanced it did enable play sound system settings but the only thing it didn't do is set up the default web page so guys sometimes not all options are visible not all options sometimes if maybe this requires a restart but this is why i did four different settings just to see if my policy was run and it is able to do changes so guys, in other words that in this domain Whatever users are logging in, all of them will be, if their, their default, their history will be deleted. So, so this is how we create a new policy. We verify it. We apply it. Let me save it so that you can do this exercise at home one more time.